settings for the CL. Um, all the drivers set on our teams now and deliveries made. The first four tracks are going to be um, for the Sunday League, and the next four tracks are going to be for the Challengers League. It's so all of them in a list, I just randomize them. Okay, so. Wow. 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 Four for four. Wow. <laughs> First poll goes to Namskar and Flow Force. Here's the Monaco Grand Prix underway. You've got uh, two two stop strategies really um, Ibram. <coughs> Anti Amazing and Kinnis battling for first right now. Wow. Speed difference. Already going into the pits there. <coughs> a three-stop or a two-stop strategy with this uh, tire wear we've got. The ones on the hearts can go four to five laps, so there's at least one stop happening. Kinnis making his first stop. Zika's first out into the lead. Oh, just crazy on that fourth lap on the mediums with the grip, and the grip is just gone. And we've one stop done. Pernicious is looking real rough on those tires now. Zeke so versus into the pits with Ibram. Amazing, now your leader. He's gonna stay it, right? Yeah, two two sets of softs will do it, it looks like. But really stretching them. I don't know if that's what he did. Not ideal. Kinnis doing great. Gonna be a great debut for him, Marion Frias. Now I'm just gonna a three four for full force. Amazing with the pole again. Pamushus, Nordic Thunder going 1 2 and then 3 4. Look at this 5 6 7 8. All the teams matched up there. Alright, here we go in Mexico. 
Mexico, the second race of the first Sunday League. The Nordic Thunder 1-2 gets uh, split up by Miriam Frias there, and then by Nomskar. Uh, GRS, the Gunliver Rush Squad, holding strong. Zika's verse making a push in for it, though. Uh, the medium tires dropping down a bit as the soft ones rise to the top. The hard still doing okay with Zika's verse actually in there. Uh, sitting in fifth and Ebron up to fourth now. Uh, Flow Force looks to be so unstoppable lately. Oh, Nomskar pushes Ebrams off. The uh, the grip issue is definitely definitely a factor. Oh, we're doing anything getting a little wide on Williams still. Grip issue definitely a factor on the Mexican track. It's not very uh, long. It's a very quick lap, but on these tires and these degradations. Which is okay, so we got our first group of pitters. Zeke is in Kinnis, the ones going to be staying out. This could be short enough that some people on the hards go for a no stopper, which is a very, very bad idea. So we'll see if Kinnis and Zeke is trying to stay out. The IRT team working the same strategy. Marion Fries did two laps of softs, now onto the mediums, along with Nomskar. That's probably the best strat. We'll see if the softs, the other softs, can catch up to them. Uh, Zika's first going to get past there now for the lead. Kinnis already, already way back. Yeah, Zika's first. Look at the hearts. They're almost red. They just can't hold up. Well, didn't. Okay, now he gets past. Anti goes past Marion, too. Anti in the lead now. On the mediums. Is he going to hold on? No, oh, Marion can't slipstream it. And takes the win, but Zeke's first, not bad. IRT. Anti. Mary and Zeke's first. Wow. Wow. Fast lap there. All looking wow. great for the Jordan F1 team. Ooh, Eero and JJL struggling on Red Bull as well. And moving on to the Austrian Grand Prix. Ibram with the pole for GRS. And the struggles continue for Jordan and Sobel Racing. All right, there we go. Ibram and Namskar on the front row. Kinnis, Pamushas, and Anti following. It just seems to be those top all four teams just duking it out. No one else really has come close. LSA has fleeting glimpses, but... Namskar right out to the lead. Just going to be as easy as it was in Monaco. Maybe Kinnis giving a little bit of pressure now. Yeah, better on those hairpins. Definitely better through those hairpins. Oh, <laughs> good nudge out by Marion. Smashing Kinnis into the wall there. Um, the Nordic Thunder still running 4-5. Ibram and Don Daniel. For GRS in fifth and sixth, and it's a fight between Flow Force for the lead. It just seems. Um, there comes Zika's first, wearing out those mediums, but a uh, good time to do it anyway. Uh, rain is on its way, so everyone on the softs and mediums going to be the advantage. Don Daniel is going to lose out on his hard strategy. He's going to have to pit early. And they go to the wets, except for... Oh, Kinnis and Don Daniel, both with the intermediate. So let's see. Now we got our good, wet, and intermediate strategy going. All the other people pitting after are going for the inters because I suppose they know it's not going to rain as hard. Or maybe they just won't be on the track long enough for... It. Maybe that's the AI, thinking it won't be on the track long enough to get fully wet. Perhaps. Kinnis making the move on Marion. There he goes on the better tires. He's only got a little bit to go before the track gets fully wet and Marion starts getting fast again. Uh, I don't know. The no grip is hurting everyone in the wet. Um, but at least it's even, right? With the tire spec. 
I can't believe Marion hasn't been passed by Kinnis yet. That's kind of crazy that she's been able to hold on. With the super acceleration. Both teams have the super acceleration, but... Oh, wow. Not able to hold... Uh, not able to make a move, rather. Kinnis stays in second. Marion with the fast lap as well. Namskar with the podium, double podium for FLF again. Oh, look, Jordan didn't finish in last this time. Not too notable are as the LJTs and the LSAs and what have you, but uh, it's a duke out between Flow Force and Nordic Thunder for the last race. we got one more on the schedule. Uh, Kinnis takes the pole. Don Daniel and Anti Amazing. Okay, so we got some interesting, uh, interesting grid starts here. The Flow Force further down than they've ever been at the Bugatti track. So, the teams with the speed, Gonlever Rush Squad, has the best engine, but they have zero acceleration. So. I don't know how they're going to fare, but I mean, they're running 1-2 right now. It's kind of weird. They it, like I feel like acceleration would be super important on this track with all the big hairpins, but I guess the long straights in between are just outweighing the fact that they have to slow down on all these hairpins. They're kind of high-speed hairpins, I guess, so not too bad. Yeah, so they're very easily out in front right now. Pinocious as well. So the no speed add-on for Flow Force right now is hurting them. I guess there is longer stretches of straight. But this could be interesting. Pamushis and Zika staying out. The two GRS cars go to medium. So two on the mediums, four on the softs. I, or two on the softs, four on the mediums, I suppose. Nobody going for a two-stop strategy, I don't think think maybe some lower down our two stop strategy is definitely smart for these longer tracks that are very demanding on the turning three sets of softs can do it there they come in for their pit now on the third lap the hard tires still out let's see if Pamushis and Zekas can oh Zekas is in already Zekas took the mediums she went from hards to mediums that's really weird I don't think that's going to pay off There we go, Ibram well out in front now, and Pernicious coming in on lap four. I just don't think it's great to start on hards because two laps to make it up after you're already in the pits, you're going to fall down way too far. And uh, by the time you catch up, the race is going to be over already. Ibram's tires are going to be getting pretty worn out. But, uh, well, Kinnis and Zekas are kind of in the same boat, so they're not going to catch Ibram. Don Daniel's on the same set of tires as Ibram is. So it's just a battle of who can outrace each other there. And Zekas taking the pass. Zekas into the lead. Could be an IRT win this time. Full force for once, nowhere to be seen competing for the uh, podiums. Oh, Zekas holding on through the last turn. Yeah, and Pamush just did a great job of battling back. Look at that, almost did do it with uh, two laps of softs. Anti comes in for third place, though, it looks like. Steals away the podium from Ibram. Well, there you go. Zekas, Pamucius, and Anti Amazing. Nordic Thunder. GRS grabs the uh, fast lap, and uh, there's your uh, final results there. Full Force takes the constructors, and Anti Amazing takes with two wins the drivers.